Good morning, everybody. RJ Baxter here, your out-of-the-box lender with your Saturday strategy. Cosmo is joining me this morning from beautiful Berthoud Pass, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the psychology of home buying this morning, heading into the summer. So a little bit of ammo that you can use to talk to your buyers about as you're going into this summer season that's, again, another hot season. And let's face it, a lot of people right now are paranoid about the market because we've had such a run-up over the last six, seven, eight years that people are wondering if the market's topped out. So first of all, a statistic. Out of the last five recessions, home values have actually gone up in three of those recessions. I mean, we have the Great Recession in our, in our memory just 10 years ago, and a lot of people think about that and the way housing went down, but that just hasn't been the case in, in the last five recessions. Three of those recessions, housing's gone up, and in one of those recessions, the other one, the other recession besides the Great Recession, housing only went down by 0.9 percent nationwide so it isn't always the case that in a recession housing goes down in value so that's something you can share with your buyers and here's another thing is that housing is an emotional decision this is where I wanted to talk about psychology because this is someone's home they're not buying to most people at least aren't buying a home because it's an investment unless it's an investment property yes it is an investment that's secondary and people think about the financial part of it, but that's not the driver for making that decision. The decision is the, the emotional part of it, envisioning themselves in that home, envisioning that that's the home that they're gonna raise their kids in or retire in or whatever it is. So I wanted to talk this week about, a little bit about future casting. What future casting is, is to plant the seeds in your buyer's mind about envisioning their, themselves in that home. So helping them to envision what it's what it would be like to be in that home and to have to call that their home that's where the emotional decision comes in and where where your buyers are going to make that decision despite what the market's doing because let's face it if someone's in a house for five six seven ten years that home's going to go up in value historically in denver 5.5 percent increase in home prices over, over uh historically on average so unless they're gonna just buy and then sell one or two years later. Yeah, if there's a dip, maybe that could happen where they, they could lose a little bit, but chances are if they're in that house for the long term, it's gonna go up in value. So uh, just a few things to share and the demand continues to be there. There's more people moving to Colorado than there are leaving. There's not enough housing out there. So it's a supply and demand thing too. It's unlikely that we're gonna see a huge dip in housing prices, even if there is a recession, which is predicted to happen here in the next couple of years, but a lot of folks think, think it's gonna be a mild recession. We may not even notice it very much in Colorado. So give me a call if you have any questions about that, or if you have any loan-related questions or have any buyers you're helping this weekend that need help getting pre-approved. My name is RJ Baxter, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your weekend.